love your enemy or a narcissist or whatever. Um, it's really easy. Everybody's from the same source, Jesus. You are a per son, per the son. Jesus is the son. And so that enemy over there is actually not your enemy. They're an enemy of themselves and they're an enemy of God, but they just chose a different path than you. So you're looking at another version of yourself who chose the dark side instead of the light. And so you can have compassion on your enemy, give them bread and water, the Bible says, because they're just a different version of you and they're actually like a memory. <clears throat> you move from dark to light, right? You move from flesh to spirit. And so you're actually looking at an, uh, an old version of yourself, the old copy of yourself. If you used to think like they think, a narcissist, psychopath, whatever, if you used to have negative thoughts, all that about reality or whatever, before you got saved or whatever, you're just looking at an old copy of yourself that doesn't exist anymore. So you can actually have compassion on them because maybe they'll escape it. Maybe they won't, but you don't have to. You don't have to be around them. It doesn't mean when you love your your enemy it doesn't mean you have to be around them. You can put boundaries up. You can put a lot of boundaries up, and actually, you need the boundaries because the boundaries keep your heart from going to the dark side. You got to guard your heart with all diligence, flow for out of it flow all the issues of life. That's how you love your enemy. That's how you love a narcissist. That's how you forgive. That's how you don't live in bitterness. It doesn't matter what they do. They they have they're just they're out here on the peripheral. Keep them out. Keep them out there. Keep them in the peripheral.